all right you lot first off i wanted to just take a second to acknowledge the fact that we made it to 200,000 subscribers on this channel it doesn't even seem real to be saying that and i just want to say thanks for being here and just how incredible it is that in such a massive community there's so much kindness and accepting and supporting of each other I really do feel lucky to have each and every one of you here so welcome to the new peeps welcome to the fam and shout out to my oldies who've been here since i was filming videos on my phone anyway today's drawing mm, i wanted to draw an industrially little bit post-apocalyptic structure that was haunted by toxic radiation i wasn't as excited about the idea as i had been with my past drawings but i still had a good idea in mind of how i wanted it to look but i was having a bad art day so Mm. A bad art day for me is like a bad hair day. It doesn't matter if you're doing something you've done a thousand times before, using the tools you've always used, doing something that always works out, or something that you can at least adjust and fix and eventually work out when it doesn't go to plan. On a bad art day, it's like the world is against you, your brain isn't communicating with your hand, everything that can go wrong will go wrong, and every mark you make is another mistake. I'm sounding a bit dramatic, but when you're in the moment, that's what it feels like. You get exasperated and frustrated, and the most disheartening part is that you keep going, keep trying to salvage it, but the more you do try to fix it, the worse it gets. The first thing to know about bad art days, much like bad hair days, is no one really notices. It might sound bad, but people aren't going to see the drastic, tragic difference that you see. They might notice something's a little bit off compared to your more fluid, neater or more harmonised work, but I promise you, your perceived disasters don't stick out like the sore thumb that you think they are. Now, that's great to remind yourself when you're done with the drawing, but a lot of the issue with bad art days is finding the willpower to keep on going with a piece of work that's uncooperative and fights you at every brushstroke. The idea of giving up and starting again can be just so tempting. And by all means, if you do feel like you can do a better job, a drastically better job by starting over, there, there's nothing wrong with that. You learn from the mistakes of your first and you can chalk that last drawing up as a practice. But that's only if the piece you're working on is unsalvageable. For me, and I know this isn't easy, but I just kind of keep going, plod along, remind myself that I always kind of hate my work until it's done anyway, and I just use that and hold out the hope that if I keep going, I'll eventually end up with something that I like. I acknowledge the fact that I'm getting frustrated, but in noticing that feeling and labelling it, I'm stopping that frustration from spiralling and taking me down into a hole of self-doubt. Thinking to yourself, I can feel myself getting annoyed, is a lot different to feeling annoyed, if that makes sense. It might only make sense once you've tried it. So I sigh when the ink I'm using to add a hint of rust isn't orange, it's actually pinky red, and it spreads further than I anticipated, and it stains the page so I can't get rid of it. I think, ah, oh, typical. But my hand doesn't stop moving. My thoughts are separate from my actions, my body is just kind of on autopilot, and I just kind of scramble to do what I can to fix the drawing. And then I think, I'm getting frustrated, this is a bad art day, and somehow just saying that in my head makes me a little bit less frustrated. Enough to keep my positivity high enough to keep going. Bad art days are hard, but my advice is to stop yourself from spiralling into frustration by noticing and acknowledging how you're feeling, and to stop your thoughts from taking over by letting your body do the work. Keep your hand moving, let your mind tick away in the background, just don't give up. That's all for today, I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Bye.